Okay, testing. So today I'm going to testing on my new setup. So basically, go to my system, right click that, and go to remove recording device. I set the recording device to be the cable output, and it's going to be listening to. I take this one, listen to the device of my speaker. Okay, so everything stays the same. And then I go to the playback device and set the cable input to be the default playback device. Then I go back to my OBS Studio. The version that I'm using is OBS 20.1.3. And when I go to setting, go to the audio output. I just disable all the desktop and mic input. Let's see what I get. Audio. Yep. Recording everything. And recording in only 720p. And then I go to my scene setting. This is the Tooth 4 scene setting. And I'm recording in the Zoom H6, in the mic Zoom H6. When I click the mixer, when I click the mixer, this one, Advanced Audio Properties. This is my setting. And I'm recording to the track number two. Okay, so right now I'm going to test a new setting. I'm trying to distort the voice from uh, the system voice. Let me play my Cantonese channel so that you don't pay attention to the content, but the sound quality only, okay? So I'll just go to my Cantonese channel. I think I need a YouTube. So that, okay. All right, because you're listening to my Cantonese, right? It's in the background. So let me just, hold on. I go to my default source, or my sources, and I click add, and then I add an audio input. Okay, let's say I just call it test cable input. And it's going to be from the cable output. Okay, I use timestamp. Let me see what we get. Also, I don't have any background playing. Virtual length. Virtual. So you notice the test cable input has nothing. You can only hear my voice to soundtrack number two. And now I go to the test cable input and go to advanced audio properties. You see this? And I'm going to click monitor and monitor and output. So um you have this. I don't need to record to all the tracks. It depends on how you use it. Because when you play back at post using any, using like Adobe Premiere or VLC Media Player, then you can have the option to choose the audio tracks. So I just record this to one and two. Usually I record only to one, but this time I'm going to record it to two so that you can hear my voice. After you finish that, you click close. And so I can hear my voice. And as you can see in the test cable input, it has very low signal. So let me turn on, uh, because I have nothing to play in the in system. So it has very low signal. Let me turn on this one. So what you are hearing is the system sound. Okay. Okay, let me change this one. I mean, let me add some filters. And I'm going to change the audio filter. I'm just going to change my 
voice, my system voice from the background. I just call it uh, whatever name, form change. Okay. And you can hear the background, I'm speaking Cantonese. And you can change the form with the G form. Actually, you can learn how to use the plugin from my other video. I'm not going to go deep here, I'm just showing you the effect. Okay, let me change the page. Did you hear the, the change? I'm going to pay, play that afterwards because I have to close this recording and actually you can hear two voices one is the distorted one and one is the original one but indeed when you play in post it's going to be changed a whole lot okay i'm going to untick them Okay. okay, let me close my Cantonese channel. I'm going to close this recording and show you the one that I just recorded. Okay, now I've just finished my first recording. I'm going to show you the one. This is the one I just recorded. Double click that. And this is the one that I just recorded. You can hear nothing, right? Because when i play in vlc media player i go to audio when i select audio track since i'm recording only to the zoom h6 that's the one because i'm recording only to zoom h6 and when you're not selecting to zoom h6 you hear nothing but so when, when i switch to zoom h6 Default playback device. Huh. My OBS Studio. System voice from the background. And you can hear the background, I'm speaking Cantonese. You can learn how to use the plugin from my other video. I'm not going to go deep here, I'm just showing you the effect. Okay, let me change the pitch. Actually, you can hear two voices. One is the. I think it's not like. um. I have to turn off one of the features. Go so the filters. Oh, excuse me, not this one. Just go to this part, and I try not to mess up my Zoom H6. So at this point, I think. Okay, let me close it. So at this point, I think you won't hear robotic sound. Hopefully it helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.